Yeah, it was something like that. It's a good man. It doesn't really make sense to me. Did you get a chance to hear Chinese democracy? I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What were your thoughts? I, man, I've always been a huge fan of his voice. And yeah. that's not changed because I don't play with it. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, my, my opinion on Chinese democracy, I don't really think matters. You know, it might as well... Well, you were a founding member of Guns N' Roses and it came out as Guns N' Roses. It's not, so how does same, that, it's, it, it's not it, Guns N' Roses. It'd be, it would be like me, um, uh, you asked me what I thought of the Metallica record or U2 record. It's a different band. I like some songs on the new U2 record. Yeah. There's some songs... I don't like. There's one song on YouTube record, I hate. Yeah. You know, it's like I hate you guys. Shouldn't have done that song, and and, and that's with every record. I, I love how Axel turns a phrase, um, goes from you know I listen to weird stuff like how he goes into a vowel sound from a consonant sound. You know, the stuff yeah. I know he did well. But is it, a, is it an insult to even call it Guns and Roses to the original band? It just doesn't matter to me. It's over. It's yeah. Guns and Roses is dead. To you. It's dead to me. No, it's, it's, <laughs> you know, it, you know, it's, it's it was. It's a really important thing in my life. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys. Let's be, you know, let's be straight up. If sure. It wasn't if I wasn't in Guns N' Roses. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it was important. It's important for me to state that the five guys in that band, the original five guys, made that thing. That's why you guys talk about Guns N' Roses to this day. Right. It's not because of one guy. You know, five. Nobody got signed to a solo deal in 1987. And there's a reason for that. You're right about that. Right. It was a good collection. Yeah. And it was attitude. Like you said, you guys did it your way. Everybody brought their own. Izzy was like this kind of cool Rolling Stones guy. I was the punk. We brought different. Slash was like this Aerosmith blues guy. Axel brought this amazing, you know, like Nazareth. Uh, you know, we all brought our own. Perfect Steven score. Adler was became the, probably the best groove rock and roll drummer. Mm -hmm of that generation, mm -hmm. that time, and, and uh, everybody brought their own things. Steven Adler listened to Wasp and, you know, like metal stuff. But did you hear metal in his, I mean, no, because with the, the five of us added and took away from each other in the right, exact right implements mm -hmm. that it made that band. And people that were fans of those styles of music were all drawn to Guns N' Roses then. If you were a punk rocker, you'd dig GNR. Yeah, I mean, our, our crowds, in, you know, when we started drawing crowds in L.A., it was such a mixture of people. It was punkers. We would we'd go play with Social Distortion, mm -hmm. or we'd go play, you know, cross town with Morning. You know, like a, a metal band. We'd mm -hmm. play with Open for Ted Nugent, we'd open for the Chili Peppers. You know? All right, cool. Yeah. So, the, so if the phone rings today, we're getting the band back together. Are you joining? Are you back? Or is it so far in the past, it's, it's old news and it's never going to happen again? Should we wait for original Guns N' Roses reunion? I, I can never guess, man. If if somebody told me that Loaded was going to make a record uh -huh. and it was be one of the most inspired records you played on in years, yeah. uh, you know, I I don't never know what's going to happen next. Okay. Uh, I really don't. It, you know, uh, I write two columns a week now for two different publications. If somebody told me that eight months ago, I said you're crazy. Yeah. You know, so I don't know what's going to happen next week. Uh, and you're raising daughters. Raise the daughters. Mike Squires shaved his beard into a promotional use mustache. So <laughs> Raise the daughters to keep, keep them away from guys like you. Or were, as you were. Man, you know, yeah. Because I'm trying to raise my daughter to keep her away from guys like me. How old? She's 50 days old. 50 days old, yeah. Right. Okay, here's what's going to change for you, my friend. All right. I, I have an 11-year-old. So I was that guy. I was you. So yeah, no, no dude's going to touch my daughters and no. Yeah, but she's in sixth grade now, and she's almost done with sixth grade. So, six, beginning of sixth grade was one thing. Almost, you know, more than halfway through sixth grade. It's a whole different story. All right. Do you, and, do you go through what he went through, though? It's 50 days old. He, let alone somebody touching his daughter, yeah, he, yeah. he won't even touch himself. No. Nope. He's completely repulsed to the idea of anything having to do with sex. Oh, no. Right now, I'm just repulsed see, by sex. Another kid. No, no, I probably will, but like right now, like, as <laughs> I see, first time. as I see, like, por pornography or just anything online, I'm like, uh, the more I watch this, the more I'm giving her a free pass to do it. Is that going to go away? Duff, please tell me to go away. Damn, you're so the only odd <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should pass. You should probably All right. pass. I think I need some help. I mean, I, you know, you think of sucking. I think of the pacifier now, Dolph. Please. Yeah, you gotta separate that, my friend. All right. Yeah, little, little help. It's borderline crap. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should talk about this off the air, Dolph. I'm gonna need some, some help from you. You gotta departmentalize. My You're friend. right. Yes. It's a smart thing. Yeah, baby. Yes, I'm daddy. That's great. 
Red tube? Over there? <laughs> Duh. 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 Duh.